Uh, Monza versus Milan. Uh, Monza at plus 420. Love to play with their food. All neat and tidy. Don't threaten anyone. If they were a boxer, they wouldn't need gloves because they don't land a punch. Milan, dangerous. <laughs> minus 155. Uh, minus half. The algorithm's giving you an extra little mini five cents at minus 150. Under two and a half is plus 108. I think Milan win. I think possibly... We might see both teams score in here. Uh, minus 131 for Milan to score twice. I think if Milan are going to win, they're going to need to score twice, Tan. Very close to your thought. Um, totally close to your thought. I was at Atalanta-Monza. Uh, very strange game because it was completely one-sided for, uh, well, for the whole game. But the thing is that until the minute 70... Monza had two goal chances and Atalanta won. Yeah. So basically, Atalanta was uh, closing Monza in their, half, uh, in their half of the pitch, but not even being able to, to create well, only one chance, only yeah. one goal chance. While Monza on two counters, two long shots, actually, they made some problems. And it was, was weird. It's true, Monza can't land a punch, but at least... When they are closing behind, they can defend, which Milan is suffering. It's a Milan who has been uh, hit hardly by how they lost to Napoli because they felt powerless, because actually they played better than Napoli. Even if, even though, even still in that way, they lost 2 0 with no contest and they lost stamina along the game. But same thing as Udinese, it was so burning that. I, 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 there must be a reaction and at the same time I see that their defense is so shaky that could be that actually for some uh, uh, stupid uh, uh, for some stupid uh, amnesia they could concede one goal to Monza so I'm going with that Milan not to lose if I'm not mistaken my pick has been that Milan not to lose and uh, 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 both teams to score, if I'm not mistaken. Am I right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, basically, uh, yeah. Milan yeah. double chance and both teams to score. Um, I, going back to Milan versus Napoli, one of the best games on paper that we'd seen recently, but going 1-0 behind in the first yeah. minute really put them on the back foot. I also felt that throughout the game, any 50-50 decisions that the referee could make, he went with Napoli. He really was very defensive in his uh, approach. And then, obviously, they came out second half. They score a goal. Yeah, rightfully given offside by this much. But then they never went on, Milan. And it's almost like I'm looking and saying, OK, who's going to do it? Because... I, I look at Loftus Cheek, who's unbelievable Rolls Royce of an athlete, trying to do too much. The manager trying to complicate things by having two influential players sitting on the bench in a game where you'd want to go and be in front of Napoli and bring them players off. So don't give them a rest and then bring them on. Play them and then give them a rest. So I think Milan win this game. But... I also believe that Monza need to just throw a little caution to the wind and they might just be surprised by what they... Uh, listen, minus 176 says that they're liable to score. I've got Milan win this game, but maybe 2-1, maybe 3-1. Uh, I think that both teams do score. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks because this is a big number. Plus 196 for Milan to win... And both teams to score. I'd like, in fact, I'd, the way the game's going to go, I don't want really Milan going up because Monza, then they're not the most confident in front of goal or even in the opposition's final third. Uh, you've got Milan double chance and both teams to score. At plus 105, just bringing in that 1-1 one, one rather than the 1-2. 